hearty welcome to class 8 third term unit 1 supplementary reading women on platform 8 part 2 in the previous episode we saw the boy waiting in platform 8 for another one hour come with me and have something to eat so you know one hour wait one pannuma paavalla nee enna panna ingudu va poi da saaptu varla i was going to refuse out of shyness ena konju vekkama irundhathu naan varla enak pidikadhu appo sollanu nu thonuchu and suspicion but she took me by the hand and then i felt it would be silly to pull my hand away ivlo paasama anba oru romba anba koopiduve enak avangal thatti vidrathu kashtama irundhathu she told a kooli to look after my suitcase avanga enna pannanga kooli kooli means avanga vela seiranga illa red color shirt la potu please my dear take care of my suitcase and then she led me away down the platform her hand was gentle and she held mine neither too firmly nor too lightly romba tight avum pidikala romba light avum pidikala apdi gentle or poo pidikira maadhiri or or bird pidikira maadhiri gentle soft ah pidichirukanga i looked up at her again she was not young thirumba etti paatha avanga face she was not young in a 12 years or 15 years girl kadiyadu and she was not old avanga romba old kalvi mariyum paati madri illa she must have been over 30 had she been 50 i think she would have looked much the same இப்போ இவங்க என்னமோ தேர்ட்டி மாதிரி தோணுது ஐ திங்க் ஷி வில் பி அரவுண்ட் தேர்ட்டி ஈவன் இஃப் ஷி கிராஸஸ் ஃபிஃப்டி ஷி வில் பி த சேம் ஒன்லி ஷி டுக் மீ இன் டு த ஸ்டேஷன் டைனிங் ரூம் ஆர்டர்ட் டீ அண்ட் சமோசா ஜிலேபிஸ் அண்ட் அட் ஒன்ஸ் ஐ பிகேன் டு தா அண்ட் டேக் நியூ இன்ட்ரெஸ்ட் இன் திஸ் கைண்ட் உமன் ஸோ சாப்பிட கொடுக்குறாங்க இல்லையா பசி kara kondike so he sweet karam coffee this boy like that woman the strange encounter encounter means like a meeting la strange encounter had little effect on my appetite i was hungry school boy and i ate as much as i could in a polite a manner as possible she took obvious pleasure in watching me eat like a mother normally amma da nama saapradha recipanga liya saapta mudichittu adiye paathite irupanga similarly here the boy is eating and mother the lady in white sari is admiring is watching and i think it was the food that strengthened the bond between us and cemented our friendship cemented it means bond tight a pidichirukku for under the influence of the tea and sweets i began to talk quite freely so middle middle we are talking now nalla pesite jolly a irukrom and told her about my school my friends my likes and my dislikes so while we were talking i spoke about my school my friends my likes my dislike ella atha pathi pidikirudhu enna kedalla pidikilayo ella share pandra or friend maadhiri she questioned me quietly from time to time but preferred listening in appappa kelvi kekranga ana nariya vaati enna pandranga na solradha alaga meduva listen pandranga she drew me out very well and i had soon forgotten that we were strangers so ivunga pudhu friend strangers theriyadal andha mari feeling illa as if we are friends for a long time you know nare naal palgina mari or bond but she did not ask me about my family or where i lived and i did not ask her where she lived avangalo enna pannala na enga vaandittukuren ennoda veedu inga edhum kekkala similarly 
ஐ ஆல்சோ டிட் நாட் ஆஸ்க் அபவுட் ஹர் நீங்கள் எங்கே இருக்கிறீங்க பேரண்ட்ஸ் இங்கே இருக்கிறாங்க ஃபேமிலி இங்கே இருக்குது ஐ ஆல்சோ டிடென்ட் ஆஸ்க் ஐ அக்செப்டட் ஹர் ஃபார் வாட் ஷி ஹேட் பீன் டு மீ அவங்க எப்படி இருக்கிறாங்களோ அப்படியே நான் ஏற்றுக்கிட்டேன் எ குவாயட் kind and gentle woman who gave sweets to a lonely boy on a railway platform after about half an hour we left the dining room and began walking back along the platform an engine was shunting up and down beside platform number 8 as it approached a boy leapt off the platform and ran across the rails taking a shortcut to the next platform nadandite irukumbodu enna nadakkudna ka anga or boy he is trying to cross the platform in the platform la irund and the platform gudikira gudikala madha mari or platform it innor platform eppadi ponom we should take the steps he was a safe distance from the engine and there was no danger unless he had fallen but as he leapt across the rails the woman clutched my arm and the payan cross panumbodu she clutched my arm ennoda kaiya apdiye tight ah pidichitanga her fingers dug into my flesh and i winced with pain ah valikkira alavukku tight ah pidikranga i caught her fingers and looked up at her and i saw a spam of pain and fear and sadness pass across her face she watched the boy as he climbed other platform and the boy next platform climb pandra varaiku she was not in a good mood and it was until he had disappeared in the crowd that she relaxed her hold on my arm at me reassuringly and took my hand again but her fingers trembled against mine his he was all right reassurance she smiled gratefully at me and pressed my hand we walked together in silence until we reached the place where i had left my suitcase one of my cl- school fellows satish a boy about my age had turned up with his mother so when they were coming my friend my classmate or schoolmate what is his name satish he is coming with whom he is coming with his mother hello arun in the varsha namalukku new headmaster we shook hands and then he turned to his mother and said this is arun mother he is one of my friends and the best bowler in the class i am glad to know that said his mother a large imposing woman who wore spectacles oh apdiya adilla potirukranga she looked at the woman who led my hand and said and i suppose you are arun's mother avangale kekkranga ninga arun amma va I opened my mouth to make some explanation but before I could say anything the woman replied yes i am arun's mother who told these words arun amma sonnad it means the lady in white sari said yes i am arun's mother i was unable to speak a word hatta paavume onnume pesa mudiyala pesuradhukku munadi avanga enna pesitaanga i looked quickly up at the woman but she did not appear to be at all embarrassed and was smiling at satish mother satish mother said it is such a nuisance having to wait for the train right in the middle of the night but one cannot let the child wait here alone anything can happen to a boy at a big station like this there are so many suspicious characters hanging at about these days one has to be very careful of strangers arun can travel alone though amma solranga arun ka and bayam la la he can travel well said the woman beside me and somehow i felt grateful to her 
for saying that i had already forgiven her for lying and besides i had taken an instinctive dislike to satish mother already or poi solliranga amma enna poi nanda arunoda amma and never talk to strangers when your mother is not with you i look from satish mother said satish mother to woman who looking had given sternly me tea at me and through her spectacles and then back to satish mother na rendu mother seyum maathi maathi pakkara and both women apri paathite he said one word i like strangers i said satish mother definitely staggered a little as obviously she was not used to being contradicted by small boys the chinna pasanga edavadu argue pandrathu and amma ku pidikiradilla there you are you see if you don't watch over them all this time they will walk straight into trouble always listen to what your mother tells you she said wagging a fat little finger at me and never never talk to strangers i glad resentfully at her and moved closer to the woman who had befriended me befriended na ka ipa friend ana amma kitta abadiye pakkathla poitan satish was standing behind his mother grinning at me and delighted in the clash with his mother apparently he was on my side satish almost he was in my side enak support pandra maadhiri urudhu the station bell clanged and the people who had till now been squatting resignedly on the platform began hustling about so people who were all sitting in different positions they are now getting up and moving up and down here it comes shouted satish as the engine whistled shrieked and the front lights played over the rails the train moved slowly into the station the engine hissing and sending out waves of steam so train correct on a platform in a platform platform number 8 it came as it came to a stop satish jumped on the footboard of a lighted compartment and shouted come on arun come 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 this one is empty and i picked up my suitcase and made a dash for the open door in the suitcase eduthittu i came inside the compartment quickly we placed ourselves at the open windows and the two women stood outside the platform talking up to us satish mother did most of the talking no don't jump on and off moving trains as you did now she said and don't stick your heads out of the windows and don't eat any rubbish on the way so these are the instructions normally parents all these things so she allowed me to share the benefit of her advice as she probably didn't think my mother was very capable person she handed satish a bag of fruit a cricket bat and a big box of chocolates she stood back from the window to watch how my mother behaved i was smarting under the patronizing tone of satish mother who obviously thought mine a very poor family and they did not intend giving the other women away avangal enakku vittu kuduka ishtam illa i let her take my hand in hers and i could think of nothing to say i was conscious of satish mother was staring at us with hard beady eyes and i found myself hating her with a firm unreasoning hate avanga pandra oru oru vishayamo enak pidikala so i was just hating or verup jaasti aite irukud the guard walked up the platform blowing his whistle from the train to leave okay normally train will stand for a short period they are going to show the flag red or green like that now it's going to leave so obviously green color to show then only the train will move i 
looked straight into the eyes of the woman who held my hand and she smiled in a gentle understanding way i leaned out of the window then put my lips to her cheeks children idu da touching scene he wants to express his love it's an overflowing love and there is no other way apdiye kupta he kissed her cheeks kannathil apdiye oru muttam kudukra suddenly it happened the carriage jolted forward and she drew her hand away goodbye mother said satish as the train began to move slowly out of the station satish and his mother waved to each other goodbye i said to other women goodbye mother so on the touching you know now only he kissed his mother now he is telling goodbye mother first time he is uttering these words i didn't wave or shout na kattala but sat still in front of the window gazing at the woman on the platform satish mother was talking to her but she didn't appear to be listening she was looking at me as the train took me away she stood there on the busy platform a pale sweet woman in white and i watched her until she was lost in the smiling crowd or a gentle look that is genuine love i hope all of you understood children you can read the lesson again